So, uh, big story tonight. I mean, it's rare you see 19 power plays in a game with no power play goals, and and, that, and, and the number of shots you guys had had to be a little disappointing. It, it seemed like yeah. some good uh, play early on in the power play, but then not a lot of great chances either. What was yeah, uh, yeah, we're just you know we're it's a work in progress. You know, we, we got cleaned out really, lost a lot of really good players, and we're we're trying to figure it out right now. And um, uh, our power play was. Struggle tonight. <laughs> it struggled. Uh, I thought our power play struggled. I thought BU's kill was really good. Um, I thought their kids were they were eating pucks and they were they had good sticks and they were really competitive. And I thought the goalie was excellent. Was it Ottinger? I don't know. Ottinger, Ottinger. Ottinger. I thought he was excellent. He had a couple pucks lying there and it just you know we just couldn't get a bounce. Um, but we struggled. You know we were out of sorts a little bit. And I thought then we started to play a little frustrated. And you can't. You can't score goals when you play frustrated. I thought I thought that's what we, that was an issue tonight. But again, you gotta you gotta give BU credit. Their their PK was really good, and the goalie was was he was the best player on the ice. It was a bit chippy game for a while early on. Was that uh, just two highly touted teams going after each other, or was it a little throwback to them uh, getting a yeah. win against you last year? Uh, I would agree it was a chippy game. You know, mm -hmm. I think it's they've got some tough kids. They got some tough kids. It's just it is it, you know it was what it was. Coach thoughts on George's performance tonight? I thought he was good. You know, I think the second goal, you can't, you know, it's a two-on-one backdoor goal, and they can't hold for that. Uh, first goal, you know, it's, uh, I have to watch it again. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened on it, but uh, I thought he played well. I thought he settled in, and, you know, uh, again, we wanted a win tonight, or at least a tie, but I, for for what I want of the game for him, like, he got a great experience. You know, he's going to be a better goalie because of what happened tonight. There's things that he did well. There's things that he can work on, and, you know, you know Jerry Williams, our goalie coach, has been doing a great job with him and Chris Truel, and this was a great experience for him. You know, he, he's going to learn a lot tonight. He's a really good goalie. And on that on third goal, uh, Clifton went to the boards pretty hard. Is he okay? I, I, I don't know. I got no comment on that last play. Nothing. We just kind of, let's just move on. In addition to Clifton, is there any status update on Michigan? Uh, no. no. We, we wouldn't discuss injuries any if I had it. Do you tend to keep trying to uh, platoon both goalies until one guy takes charge, or what's the game plan? Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. I mean, I've, I've done it all different ways in my 23 years at Quinnipiac. I've had one guy carry the mail. I've had, uh, I've split them. You know, I just, it just always depends on what's going to work. And uh, obviously, if you have two goalies that play great, then it's, it's a luxury and you can, you can split them. Um, it's still, we're only six games in, and, but they're both, they're both doing well. You know, we're, we're happy with both. Brand, with Chris getting uh, the win against UConn earlier in the week, is there anything specific from Shortridge that made him uh, get started that night? Uh, no, I just came off of last weekend that I, you know, I really, my feeling was to split them this week. So I know it was Wednesday, Saturday, but I, I just felt like I each wanted them to get him a game. and It's our non-conference schedule, and they, they both earned it. So just, just the way it worked out. That it could have gone the other way. It could have been Shortridge and then Truel. Just, we had to, to, to make some. I'm sorry. Yeah, In addition to that, uh, quick turnaround for Tuesday, did you like what you saw from Shortridge you didn't expect him on Tuesday? Uh, you know, we're not at that point right now. I think we got to, you know, figure out um, who's hurt, who's not hurt, and um, try to just get home and get healthy as quick as possible. And tomorrow's a day off, and we got to figure out a way to get this power play going here a little bit and, and come out uh, and be better on, uh, on Monday for practice, and then we'll, we'll deal with the Tuesday game. Then. Any other questions? Can you ever remember having two freshmen D play as much as, you know, I, I noticed Carlos you know, like a ton of minutes tonight, it seemed like, and yeah. Brogan obviously was also up there like. I'm sure I've had it, yeah, I mean, uh, I remember Reed Cashman was a freshman, he didn't come off the ice, I think we had another, we had another D in it, but we've had it, yeah, we, I mean, I think one thing we always do well, like we play our freshmen, if they're ready to go, and, and uh, Brogan and Carlos are, are really good, I mean, I think they're two of the better freshmen D in our league, and maybe, maybe I mean, it's early, so I haven't seen anybody, so maybe I shouldn't say they're too fast, but I'm, we've been thrilled with how they've played and how they've kind of, um, just trended upward. Very coachable, they're buying in, uh, they're doing what we ask, and um, they've been you know, really impact guys for us. Good. Thank you. Good. Okay.